Did you know you should never let a dog lick your face? That includes your mouth, your nose, or your eyes. And the same holds true for cats. In this video, I'm going to give you scientific and medical reasons why this is true. Stay tuned. So admit it, have you ever let your dog lick your face? You know, you think your dog's giving you some kisses and this is great bonding between your dog and yourself, sometimes between your cat and yourself. But the truth is, it's not a good idea, folks. You can get very sick. Now, some people will say, that getting sick from a dog licking your face, specifically your mouth, nose, or eyes, or licking a cut is very rare, but it doesn't matter if it's rare because if it never happens, then you can't get sick ever. But if you happen to be one of those few people that it actually impacts, the results can be devastating. Here's what happens. There's a bacteria in your dog and cat's mouth. It's called capnocytophagia canamorsis. Say that 10 times. No, don't say it 10 times. You're watching this video. This bacteria, if it gets into your body, can have devastating results. It can cause a person to contract the illness called sepsis, which can lead to septic shock and the results of this bacteria in your body can result in uh, gangrene and other things. Uh, people can lose limbs as a result. This kind of bacteria that's in a dog's mouth uh, is what is can cause what's commonly referred to as an opportunistic infection. So when a, a dog or a cat's saliva enters a wound, uh, also whether it, it doesn't have to be your mouth, it could be a dog or a cat licking uh, a cut or an ulcer and uh, this allows the bacteria into your body. A dog bite can also be the cause of this uh, the, the cause of this bacteria getting into your body and causing this illness. And up to 74 percent of dogs have some form of this bacteria in their mouths. Now, you can say, well, I'm very healthy and I'm not very likely to contract this illness. That may be true, but it will not completely insulate you or protect you from this illness. People who are immunosuppressed uh, or immunocompromised are more likely to be victims of this kind of illness. People who drink alcohol, especially people who are chronic drinkers, are more at risk. Also, people who have had their spleens removed. But some of these things don't matter. A person can be mostly healthy. There was one recent incident where a man who was 63 years old in Germany died from having uh, his dog lick his mouth, basically. It wasn't from a dog bite. In that case, that man was healthy and he didn't have any of these uh, compromises to his immune system. This man ended up dying of multiple organ failures uh, even though he was in the hospital and receiving treatment 
and receiving antibiotics. There have also recently uh, been victims in both uh, Ohio and Wisconsin who ended up with multiple amputations of uh, hands, legs, arms, and nose uh, resulting from this infection. So the fatality rate, if you contract this uh, infection and this bacteria gets in your body, can be as high as 28 to 33 uh, percent. Treatment uh, quickly with antibiotics, assuming that it is uh, diagnosed by a doctor quick enough, uh, can reduce a person's risk of dying, but a person can still have uh, many of the uh, many of the side effects. The symptoms can kind of creep up on a person uh, because they can often mimic uh, being flu-like symptoms and include fever. They can include breathing problems, uh, muscle pain, abdominal pain, and vomiting, and then. Uh, when the illness becomes more advanced, there is bleeding and bruising seen under the skin, and that can be a sign that the uh, illness has already progressed. Like I said, it can be treated with antibiotics after uh, blood tests have been done, but one of the challenges for doctors is that uh, once the blood work is done and sent to the lab, uh, first of all, they have to know uh, what they're looking for. And secondly, the results can take several days and the person infected may not have several days. Uh, in a hospital setting uh, where, a, uh, where you might find people who already uh, have uh, immunocompromised uh, problems, uh, it's probably a good idea not to have a dog in that environment. So, even if you're like me and you do like dogs, it's a good idea, regardless of uh, how you want to bond with your dog, not to let your dog lick your face especially your mouth, your nose, your eyes, or a cut. It could lead to something much worse. This is The Think Show. It's all about news you can use, news that can benefit you in some way. Please subscribe. Uh, after subscribing, hit the bell so you'll never miss a future video. Please come back often. Tell other people about this channel and pass this information along to any pet owners that you may know. Thanks for watching. Take care.